Okay, well I've come out here to Tani Morel, which is the neighbouring town to Kewani, where I live. Just thought I'd um, have a bit of a journey through here, just to give you like an idea of what the place looks like. It's a lot greener than it was just recently, because like we had a bit of rain. Was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend. And um, yeah, the, so the combination of that bit of rain and uh, spring, the grass has decided, hey, there's an opportunity for us to grow. So yeah. Anyway, it's a nice little town, village. Yeah, village, hamlet maybe. These um, these trees up here on either side of the road are also interesting in themselves because these were all planted for memorials to people who died in World War One. I'm pretty sure it was. And um, what are they? I'm not much for trees. Just a bark and green leaves on it. Um, and so each one of these has got uh, a small cross originally nailed onto it um, to uh, name the person and when they were born and, and their uh, and their their death. Oh, a whole bunch of corellas and uh, galahs over there, and they're all completely not bothered by me. You can maybe see that group over there to the right and another bunch over there in the paddock I won't make them fly just for me so let's um, keep uh, keep going it's a nice little area Kind of nice traditional houses here. I guess because not a lot's changed in a while. I picked a pretty quiet time of day too. Even compared to taking the motorbike around the place, you know, it's a lot more quiet checking the place out. Not the way people do shit. Isn't that great? No apparent reason, but just jam an old truck there on a couple of bricks. scrabble for grip. So we're coming up on the memorial for those who died here or from here for World War One. The Anzac Memorial for the town. <laughs> and the guard dog. Let's go up on a little bit and look at the, the gorge for a bit. How's it going, buddy? So this is a, a different side of the same gorge that I live on. In fact, I uh, don't know if you can see it, but there's a hill just emerging over, over that away. That's, um, that's got the repeater station on it for my phone for my place. Salt Tower, whatever you want to call it. Well, I know where this goes and it's only just down to the next town. Well, it's not even really a town, it's just another district of this joint. Let's um 
let's go back and explore things a different way you can tell it's a rural area so there's a part of the geography around here called the Darling Downs um, the southern end of the Darling Downs, in fact south eastern end, Darling Downs extends for quite a few kilometres over towards the west there. It's dry as a bone at the moment but it's usually prime growing country. You can tell the place used to have more of a heritage than it does now, you know, with old shops that now become where someone lives. Because it's lovely that they can still, you know, have some onions and tomatoes that people have grown locally and stick it up there and no one flogs it. You know, they just stick the money in the cash tin. It's one of the reasons why I like living in the country. How's it going? Big birds. I know I've got one follower of my videos who's uh, living in England. Makes me a bit homesick looking at this stuff. Sorry about that. Hope you don't mind. I guess you do like it. Ah, who cares about the stopping sign? It's hard to get more Australiana than the old, um, just checking behind me, the old water pump windmill over there. Boxes for town. Nice old cottage. Probably about the same age as my place. Probably 1920. Oh, there you go. Whoops. Just spun the wheels because I'm a hoon. bit hard to sort of you know go in between on the trigger on this sometimes so hope you've enjoyed the brief tour of the hamlet of Tanny Morell hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad There was some dickhead on Reddit saying, how do I signal without, well, you just take your hand off the fucking thing and you wave your hand over there to signal, you know. You can do the same on the other side too, look at that. Who'd have thought you can actually ride a scooter without having the death grip on it. Pardon me. Anyway. Gee, 
Because that's the birds. enjoyed this brief adventure post something tomorrow